Hey, so Wise put out a brand new update to their app, and you may not have even seen what was in it, but I'm telling you, this one is huge. It had some really big features that I want to tell you about. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Gross Tech Show. My name is Josh, and I gotta tell you, Wise, I, I love Wise. You guys know if you're subscribed to the channel and have seen a lot of my videos, I love Wise and their little Wise cams, the version one, version two, the pan, the new Sense coming out. I'm telling you, Wise is an amazing company and they have just released their brand new update to iOS or Android, the new app version. And I gotta say, it had some pretty huge updates. So yes, along with the normal security updates, uh, things that make it look nicer, just the back end things that they do to make sure it's more reliable and works well. So there are four ones that I really want to talk about. Two that are huge and two that are pretty impressive and I'm glad that they added them to it. So let me tell you about them and then we'll go into detail. So the first one, and we'll start with the smaller ones, is an on off button. If you had updated your app and you turn it on, you will notice that there's a little on or off little circle right next to your camera. And now you can quickly turn it off or turn it on straight from the set from your main menu. You don't have to go into the camera and go into the settings and turn it on or off. And you can do this just from the front page there, which is awesome. The second thing that is pretty cool is that they now have a download button in the events recording. So you go to your main page, go to your events down at the bottom, and you can click on whatever event you would like to download. And now you will see at the bottom there, along with share, delete, and everything else, is a download button. It will save it straight to your photos library on your phone or your tablet, and pretty nice to be able to have that option. Now the next two things are, I would say, the biggest ones. And let me go into a little detail quickly off subject about it. Wise is a company that really cares about its community, about its customers. You, you may like Apple, you may like Samsung and all these other companies, but to be totally honest, they don't really listen or care about what you or I think. They, they make whatever they want to, they sell it for whatever they want to pay, make you pay for it, and as long as you will pay for it, that's all they care. They don't care whether you would like a new feature, you would like this to be gone, but Wise is a company that does. They, they listen to you and me about suggestions. They actually have a page on their website about a voting option. Basically, you give an idea that you would like to see in the app or a new feature, and people vote on it. And then they actually see if it's possible to do, and then if it is, they do it. And that's where these two huge updates come from. So the first one is two-factor authentication. Now, people have been wondering about, is this $20 camera really safe and secure? Well, now you don't even have to think about it. You have two-factor authentication, and it is very, very simple to set up. Just go ahead and open up your app on, the, on your phone, your tablet. Go to your account page. Then click on your actual email address, your little picture up at the top. You'll see down at the, you know, towards the bottom is a two-factor authentication uh, menu. Go into it, click the button, and then it'll have you set up your phone number. It will send you a text message to make sure it's your phone. You put in the code, and that's it. The nice thing is they also added a backup phone number. So that way if you lose your number or you lose your phone or whatever, you can actually add another phone number to it. So that way you have a backup to your two-factor authentication, which is amazing and thank you wise for that. So when are you gonna have to do this? Well, when you set up or log into the app for the first time. Now they say that you don't have to do it every single time, but a lot of phones and like mine, I don't log in all the time. It, it's automatically logged in, so I don't have to put in the code every single time. But to be able to have that security feature and feel better safe about your feed, your, about your videos, about your camera feed. Now with this two-factor two authentication, I think it's huge. All right, and the last 
big, the most biggest update that came from us, came from people that use it and want to have more features with the Wisecam and love Wisecam is real-time streaming protocol, RTSP. Now, what is it? What do you do with it? Everything like that. Okay, so real-time streaming protocol is basically a, think of an RSS feed for your blog or for a news website that you like listening to or seeing. Every time it updates, it gives you a new update saying, hey, there's a new article or something like that. And it's a feed that is sent to whatever you want it to be. Well, that's what now you can now do with WISE. So say you have your own security system that you already have and you like these WISE cans, but so far you haven't been able to integrate them. Well, now you can do that. You can actually add your video stream feed to other devices. Uh, if you are able to add a RTSP stream from anything else to your own security system, you can now do that with WISE. If you want to be able to view your footage or your, your feed, basically, and it's only live streaming right now of the feed, you can do that on your desktop. So people like my wife that would like to be able to see the actual stream of my kid's nursery and their room and see what's going on when they take naps and stuff like that, she can do that from her desktop now. This has opens up a huge amount of things that you can do with it. Those are just a couple of them. But now the setup wise is a little bit more difficult. It's not just go into the app and click a button and there you go. No, you actually have to download a certain firmware. You have to install it on the micro SD card. You have to install it on the camera and update the firmware. And I'm telling you, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to do than two-factor authentication, but the setup process is pretty easy. I'm going to be doing a video for you guys dedicated on just how to set up your real-time streaming protocol for your Wise Cam and how to get that code and uh, really how to use it and how to set it up on a desktop. All right, so there you go. Those are the huge, okay, two huge and two really big updates that are in this latest release for the Waze app. And I got to say, again, thank you so much, Wise, for being able to listen to us and actually do something about it. Now, in this update also, uh, they talked about, hey, Google streaming and being integrated with Google Assistant is coming really soon. And they are actually fixing a lot of bugs that we're having in beta. So the actual public uh, release of this is coming soon. So that's very exciting and everything. And I gotta say, I can't wait for the sense to show up. I believe they said Monday. So in a couple days, I will be able to have it and see what you can do with that. And I tell you, I love WISE. I love what they do. And whether you say WISE, WAYS, whatever you wanna call it, I love the company. I love what they do. And I love that they care about you and me. So that is the show. God bless you guys. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.